Well, James, uh, frankly, I would have loved to see you uh, dressed like this. It was this time last year that I returned to my theatre roots, performing on stage with two local and long-standing theatre production companies. For both VOS, the Victoria Operatic Society, where I sang and danced in songs of Broadway, and for the Four Seasons Musical Theatre, where I played the part of a sea captain who was looking for jewels and gold on Treasure Island. <laughs> I've taken a break from the stage this year, but they're certainly not. Four Seasons, based in Langford, is presenting the popular children's story of Charlotte's Web. Victoria Operatic Society is bravehearting Scottish accents in Brigadoon. Say it with me now, Brigadoon, Brigadoon, say it, go on. You can say nice things when you want to. It almost sounded like I was making love to you, didn't it? Oh, there is a difference between making love and just being sentimental because you're tired. Is that what I was being? Nice to meet you, put her there, pal. To be among my extended theatre family on the other side of the camera this time is endearing. It takes me back to all the rehearsals and learning lines, along with six-part musical harmonies. You know, a lot of work goes into these productions. If in danger, we'll protect you. The magic of Four Seasons Musical Theatre is that children are a huge part of the show. And it's amazing. The audience loves it when they see a, a young person performing it, it, to the degree that our young people perform. Uh, they think, wow, like it's beyond their years and it's really exciting. It's just fun to watch kids. They're so cute. I mean, why wouldn't you want to? It's simple, no surprise. I am their stage mother. I'm happy with them, Mom. It's really cool. I really enjoy it. This is my first musical production, so it's been a really great experience and it's been really cool to start off with Four Seasons. A lot of people say, oh, I never go to live theatre. I said, but you turn on your television every night, don't you? Well, they all started around about the community theatre. I saw you girls laughing quite a few times. What makes you laugh the most? And um, the geese. Yeah. Why is it better than watching TV? Well, because you get to see it live and as well 3D. And it's better for your eyes. While the kids' fairy tales are cute with characters entertaining, Brigadoon is an entirely different story on stage. The mist of maize in the gloaming, and all the clouds are holding steam. Brigadoon is really a love story at heart, more particularly for Brigadoon. It's set in the Highland Scotlands back in the 1700s. And what happens is two American tourists from the 1950s, and they find out by a miracle from God that uh, this mystical, beautiful town only appears for one day every 100 years. It is a lovely time to wonder. But what's so lovely is when people come in who are new to the society and just surprise us. Um, our lead, uh, Amber Crouch, has only been in White Christmas and she was just in the chorus. I'd never seen her do anything and heard her. She came in to her audition and blew us away. They're coming through for this, I know. She's sharing the spotlight with Craig Wilson. Having worked with him, I must say, he's quite the professional all-rounder. And I bet he could teach Justin Timberlake a few dance moves. Craig's done, I think, 12 shows with VOS now. He's had quite a few leads. Well, I think it's uh, Craig's experience on stage um, and the fact that he has done uh, a bit of professional work as well that really stands out. That's how we make a living! Charlotte's Web will play this Friday night at 7.30pm at the Isabel Reader Theatre in Langford. That's inside Spencer Middle School. <laughs> with matinee performances on Saturday and Sunday. And I'm not the only connection between these two shows. The director for Charlotte's Web is actually in Brigadoon. If you go to see Brigadoon, uh, the announcer at the front, at the beginning of the show, is me. <laughs> Head to the McPherson Playhouse in Victoria. The shows are 8pm on Friday and Saturday, with a matinee on Sunday. Reporting from a very healthy South Island theatre circuit, I'm James Green for The Daily. Media, media.